Welcome to South Africa. Today we'll be escaping the hustle and bustle of the city and heading into the safari. But this isn't just an ordinary safari. We are going to be spending 72 hours living in the safari. Yes, the elephants, zebras and giraffes are going to be our neighbors. Not only will we be living in luxury, but we'll be going on countless game drives, seeing the wonders of the safari. So you better hold on tight. Let's go. Road trip! Road trip. Let the South African safari begin. begin. Was that cheesy? A little. Let's go. We are leaving the concrete jungle of Johannesburg and heading northwest because we are going on safari. And I'm so excited because not only is this the number one thing that you have to do in South Africa, but we haven't been on safari in over six years years we've got our reliable ford ranger but in south africa we call this a bucky <laughs> we got our bucky we got our bolt on and we're ready to cruise so in case you missed our previous videos we have arrived in south africa after being away for three years it was so nice to reunite with our family i can't explain how i feel yeah. and spend a week in the mother city of cape town with my parents but we said if we ever came back to South Africa, we had to go on safari. And that is the number one thing that you have to do while you're here in South Africa. We are driving three hours from Johannesburg to Balka Fonden Game Reserve. We're only about an hour outside of the city and you can already see there's just bush felt all around us, no buildings. And the plan is we drive to the game reserve I mean, the people at the lodge actually pick us up, take us into the game reserve. So we're going to be living inside the game reserve with the animals all around us for the next three days. In our hometown. Feel better. That was really nice. We're about to hit dirt road. So we're officially entering the game reserve right now, meaning that everything around us is like where the animals are. When we enter the game reserve, that means no roads, only dirt roads. <laughs> We haven't even arrived at our gate yet. And look what we're seeing. Hello. Hi, good and you. Whoa, we're in. So we're in the game reserve. And they're gonna come and pick us up. I think this is them. Hello. Oh, I'm good, how are you? Uh, Herbert, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Climbing up. This is our mode of transport for the day. We heard that we haven't been here before. The reserve started 1993 to 1994, and we do have the big five. Sometimes you see them, sometimes not. You have to look for them. If we have any sighting, they don't allow you to stand up. You sit where you are. You can talk very soft. It's so beautiful. Oh, the The male in top don't have oh. the hair because they normally fight each other. The females have got tough the hair. So it's something that is scared me. I can't believe we got to see those giraffes up close and it feels like we're seeing them for the first time. Look at the zebra. <laughs> He's so close you can hear him eating the grass. Yes. So That's close. crazy. There's a little baby over there. Hey little guy. <laughs> Just arrived at the lodge. It honestly feels like we're on safari already. We've seen so much wildlife. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pearl, Pearl, I like your name. Ah, thank you. Nice. Hello, Pearl. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. It is hot, so we. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, wow. That's what you need. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice Blessed. Nice to meet you. And your name? Salome. Salome. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. I can't believe that this is going to be our home for the next 
three days. It's just gonna be us, the beautiful terrain. What a welcome we have received. We've actually come up on a bit of a ridge so we can see almost 70 kilometers out and I could honestly just stand and stare at this. Cheers. Cheers. I still have my bag on. <laughs> This is like the main deck area and there's a fire pit down here, which I'm sure we will be spending some time maybe this evening. So right now, we're gonna go and show you the room and give you a room tour. This is our tent. No ways. Look at this. We've just put our bags down, so we want to show you where we're gonna be staying for the next two nights. I am really freaking out about this. This is the most unbelievable lodging. It's pretty much like a tent style lodge. You've got all the luxurious things on the inside, but on the outside, it's like you're glamping in nature. This is the outside area, which we have our own little deck and a plunge pool. And what's crazy is this is the game reserve. There's no fence, there's no gate. So we can be in this plunge pool and some animals can come up and they do apparently. And then we have some sunbeds and we have some chairs outside so we can sit in the morning, have some tea and look out onto the valley. It's a tent, but with sliding doors. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Welcome to my tented abode. How cool is this? So as you walk in, we've got our tea station, which we've got water, some tea, some coffee. And then on this side, this is where we're gonna keep all of our luggage. We've got a nice storage unit. We've got ropes. Over here, we've got some wooden finishing right before the bed. And I have to give this bed a little bed test. If you've watched our videos from the very beginning, we used to do countless bed tests. So I've missed doing this. Oh, oh whoa. It's as soft as a cloud. I am sitting on my comfy bed. I get to overlook the game reserve. This is where we're gonna be waking up and seeing animals. Oh. Okay, even though we're in tent, we still have all our amenities like plugs. These are the fanciest light switches ever. And the biggest bonus is the entire resort is solar powered, which means we are completely off the grid. This is every South African's lifesaver. This is insect repellent, which I think we're gonna need. Because we're in a tent, we've got these tent style windows. And if you wanna close the windows, all you have to do is just unclip this and it just rolls down. And then it's got Velcro and you just stick it on. You can just open that and, see and then the wave elephants. at the elephants. Follow me to the glorious bathroom where we've got his and her sinks, his and her mirrors, and plus these matte black taps. Toilet over here, and we've got our raised bathtub. But I think the best part of this lodge has to be the outdoor shower. You get to shower in nature. You've got this beautiful rock face. I can't wait to try this out. Now we're going up to the main lodge to have lunch. It's actually crazy to think that we're just walking around. We're like in the middle of the game resort. There could be a buck right here. Well, there could be lions and lions. elephants. <laughs> So this outside deck area is where we're going to be having our meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is all inclusive here at the lodge. Our little tent is on this side. So we're a little bit secluded away from everything. This is Eddie, a self-taught absolute legend of a chef who will be cooking all of our meals while we're here at the lodge. It was absolutely five star, including this cheesecake that caused a happy dance. Eating all of this whilst taking in the magnificent scenery. We have just finished our incredible lunch that we're gonna get on this set of wheels. Yeah. Herbert says he's ready. It's just two of you. Just the two of us. Wow. Private game drive. Private wow. game drive. Thank you, Herbert. <laughs> Thank you. We're very spoiled today. What a way to complete our day, a private tour. As the sun's going down, it's getting a bit cooler. All the animals are going to come out. Ooh, I don't know what we're going to see. Herbert's ready. I'm ready. Let's go see some animals. What we're doing right now is just driving to the central part of the reserve where most of the animals are. Herbert's gonna take us there. Any female comes here, it will be his female. You can challenge the other male, and if he wins, then he will take over the head. Herbert's just got out. <laughs> Who knows what he's, he's looking about for. To show us. This, we call it baboon tail. They look like a baboon, that's the color. The bushman, they use it as a candle. Mm. They dip it in a, a animal fat, then they light it, it burn for some time. Mm. If you cut yourself, maybe the blood is coming out. You can use this as a dressing. It stops the, the blood to come out. Oh no, <laughs> I can't break it. <laughs> you let me try? You try. So this leaf, yeah, Herbert yeah. said, try, try it. is like unbreakable. <laughs> 
And it's so thin. Yeah. But it's so and strong. You can pull a truck. Wow. <laughs> so they use these leaves for making baskets. So clever. I think you can survive. Wow. If you find this, you can survive. <laughs> Thank wow. you for teaching us. That's so interesting. And we're off again. They don't have horns, the male they've got horns. We call them McDonald fast food, the fast food for lions. <laughs> Herbert has just stopped because this is actually our South African national flower, which is the protea flower. If you wake up in the morning, there's some nectar, so you can suck it. Oh. Very sweet. It's sweet. Yeah, inside. very sweet. The flower make a cough mixture. Whoa! Yeah, with it, the nectar. Yes. Our actual goal is to see as many of the big five as we can. And if you don't know what the big five is, it's the elephant, the rhino, the buffalo, the leopard, and of course, the lion. And we've just seen our first one now, which is the rhino. Apparently, they can weigh up to 2.3 tons. The rhinos that are here, we can see, have their horns, which is amazing for us because they're endangered species. Many people come and poach the rhinos for their horns because there's ivory in them, which they can sell to make jewelry. In the Valkafonden Park, you are not allowed to poach or go anywhere near the rhinos, which makes us very happy. Bye guys! Other people driving around looking for animals, and then Herbert is talking to them on the walkie-talkie. So if someone sees a lion or one of the big five, any luck of those aliens? They communicate, and then we can drive straight there, and we know we can see the animals. There's an update. There's a whole herd of elephants close to Forty-four. Okay, you're using the turtles. <laughs> Sweet at the beginning. And at the end, it is sour. That is very nice fruit. Sweet and sour plum. Wow, and you can just eat it off wow. the tree. You open it like this. Ah! Oh. Oh, you eat the inside. Yeah. Try this one. It looks like a bit of a cherry tomato. Mm. Oh, it just breaks. It's like so a grape. Mmm! Mm. Is it good? Oh! It's, it's sour? sour. <laughs> at the end, it's sour. <laughs> So there are apparently 50 different mammals living in this park, but the park is about 40,000 hectares and the animals can all move around freely. So when you're going out, every time is completely different. Normally, if you go to a zoo, you can see the animal, but here there is no guarantee if you come out. So even Herbert, he's been here for 23 years, but every day when he goes out, it's completely different. He has no idea what he's going to see. Right now we have just spotted number two out of the big five, which is the African elephant. And there's a whole bunch of them right here. We're waiting for them to come out, but they're right here. Yes, and the one was brown because yes, it's been playing in the mud. It was playing in the mud. You can hear the elephants rustling through the trees right here and everyone is quiet, just watching. So right here we have baboons, zebra, rhinos. It's like being at safari. There you go. Wow. Good jumping. Look at the jumping. There are animals everywhere. We can come out? Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. But look at all the animals. <laughs> We're allowed to exit the vehicle and look at where we are. There are wildebeest, there are monkeys, springbuck, impala. Warthogs. There's a rhino down there. Look at where we are. 
This is both madness and completely tranquil. I can't believe that I am standing in the middle of the reserve. No fences, no chains. But that all. <laughs> Look at the setup that Herbert has. You can come and have some oh, snacks. Thank you so much. So this just opens up like this? Yes, yes, yes. You've got us some sparkling rosé. We have some chips, biltong, dried fruit, peanuts. some peanuts. Thank you so much, Herbert. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Cheers. So where we're standing right now is called Fig Tree Plain because of all the fig trees that you can see. And I can't believe how many species of animals can coexist. You're not too afraid of these guys. No, these guys are vegan, so we're all good. I can't believe how lucky we are to be here. And we've got to see two out of the five big five. I mean, for me, that is a win. I can't wait to see who we see tomorrow. It is six o'clock in the morning. We are about to go on our first game drive today. The sun is just rising above me and all I can hear are animals waking up. They didn't know they killed. I don't know what they killed. The zebras are not worried. I can hear them <laughs> so when they are walking like this, call it a giant of giraffe. Eating together, we call it a tower of giraffe. So the giraffe will not lie down with the neck on the ground because they have got very big heart. So if he lies down with the head on the ground, they will have more pressure of blood. The neck is always up like this. right in front of us, a mom and a baby. It's not happening. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just gone after eight. We've stopped right here next to a river and there's a little table and some chairs. We're going to have a morning tea or coffee. <laughs> Herbert's making some good <laughs> coffee here. Driver, guide, coffee maker, he can do everything. Muribanji. Muribanji. Yeah, then you answer me. Ndiri buino. Ndiri buino. Yes, means you are well. I'm well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Peter ni buino. Pitani. Pitani Bueno. Pitani Bueno. Yeah, good. it means go well. Oh, go well. Yeah, this is the uh, Malay language. Malawi. Chichewa. Chichewa. Yeah. In Malawi. In Malawi. Yeah. We need to visit your country. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, you're welcome. You're we welcome. can't wait. <laughs> We've had the most unbelievable coffee stop and now we're getting back onto the car. Let's see what else we can find. Zebra's right at the lodge. Bye bye. Good morning, Mr. Bless. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you, Herbert. Thank you, Herbert. You're fantastic. Thank you for teaching us. It's an absolutely perfect day today. We've already got some lovely spread of breakfast waiting for us. We have a cheese board, some cereals, some muesli, some yogurt, and some croissants as well. And we seem to be the only table set up. I've worked up an appetite. I can't wait to eat. Thank Morning, you. Chef. Did you make those biscuits? Yeah, yeah, everything we make here. They everything. were... It's so good. Believable. Eddie is the champion that's made all our food. Even the cheesecake yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so good. It Thank was you. delicious. We also have some warm breakfast as well. Ooh. Thank you so much, Pearl. You're Brilliant. a champion. You're amazing. <laughs> After having a very delicious breakfast, we thought you might be wondering why this place is called Elephant's Crossing. Well, there is someone we'd like you to meet. I can't believe this. <laughs> Drinking. 
people coming through. As we've parked our car here to have some sundowners, these rhinos are crossing the road right in front of us. We're standing over here and there they are. Hello. This is unbelievable. They're just grazing on their merry way and we get to see them up close. I'm literally like 10 steps away from them. Bye guys. That was crazy. We're getting back in the car, back in the game drive. Right. Oh, very good. This is at our resort right now. This is one of the tents right here. This pretty much sums up a perfect day in the life living in the safari. What a way to start off the year. We're going to relax here, watch the sun go down, and we'll see you tomorrow. We have woken up at 4.30 to go on our last game drive. It's officially day three and we've still only seen two of the big five. So today we're on the hunt for lions and apparently they've gone to the other side of the reserve. That's why we're waking up early. Little hippo! Come out! Come out! I see him! Oh, he's cute! Whoa! Just brush, just wait. You see? <gasps> Stinky! It's fresh. What a way to start the day. Good morning. We've just stopped the car to have some morning coffee. We've been looking for lions in this area. Apparently on the radio, they were last seen here, but we had no luck this morning. On this side, we have some wildebeers. There's some baby warthogs. No lions, unfortunately, but <laughs> what is needed is this cup of coffee. I woke up at 4.30 and all I could think about was this coffee. Amo kele Me amo kele Yeah. Oh, like you're welcome. <laughs> welcome. Yes. What was hello again? Minjani. Minjani. Yeah. Oh, it's very similar to Zulu. Yeah, yeah. Minjani. Yeah, Minjani. like maybe when we meet on the way. Yes. Yeah, Minjani. It's yeah. short. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It was nice being with nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We've had the most unbelievable day, the most unbelievable trip. Yeah. These two have been amazing. Herbert's been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for having us here. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. This is the dream team yes. over here. <laughs> We've been treated like absolute gold from the team here at Elephant's Crossing. They do have another lodge called Zebra's Crossing. We will link all of the information to their lodges in the description below. And a huge thank you to them for having us. It's just a once in a lifetime time experience you think you've seen animals in the zoo that is not true you need to come here see them right up close it is just a once in a lifetime experience and we'll see you in the next country